Hi, I'm Maggie. I work at AirCheck, the world's largest volume radon testing laboratory. We also host a website called the Radon Information Center at radon.com. You may have seen videos on YouTube and the news recently where people use instruments like these called Geiger counters to test some radon coming from your countertops. There are three kinds of radioactive elements that can be found in granite. The first and most common is potassium, which can be found in no-sodium salt, and also in bananas, orange juice, even multivitamins. The second is thorium, which can be found in things like welding rods, which our technicians use in the machine shop. And the third is uranium, and we have a tiny sample here that our lab techs have given us. The problem with using a Geiger counter to measure radiation coming from a countertop is that it picks up all three of these elements and it can't tell the difference between them. So for example, it'll pick up the radiation coming from potassium. Thorium. Okay. And uranium, which is the only one that will give off radon gas. Scientists at Airtrick have developed a testing package that will measure both the radon that may be coming from your countertop and that may be in your breathing environment. The first part includes a charcoal packet, a return mailer, and a dish that's been sized according to the amount of charcoal in the packet. We've also included a small packet of Vaseline which you'll use to seal the bottom of the dish to your countertop. Part 2 includes our 48-hour test, which will measure the radon levels of your indoor air environment. You want to run parts 1 and 2 at the same time. Now for part 1, you want to place a charcoal packet on your countertop, where it won't be disturbed for the first 24 hours. You also don't want it too close to the stove, the sink, or the dishwasher. Now what you want to do, to begin with, is set the charcoal packet down on your countertop. Then take the Vaseline packet, and spread some along the rim of your dish. This ensures that the dish will stay secure to your countertop. All right. okay. Notice that I have a nice even layer around the rim of the dish. This is important so that we don't have any room air leaking under the dish. Once you've got the Vaseline around the rim of the dish, place it over the charcoal packet and make sure that it's and press down along the rim to make sure that it's sealed. And leave that in place for 24 hours. Next, take your return mailer and circle the beginning date. For us, it's August the 4th and the beginning time. And right now it's 3, 3 p.m. Lay it on the dish and don't disturb it for 24 hours. Now to start part two, you need to take one of the air tests and mark the starting time and date. You also want to insert the foam filter, like, like this. Next, you want to hang this test from the kitchen cabinets just above the countertop. Now, if you've got handles, you can use the included hook and hang it from the handles. But these cabinets don't have them, so we just use a piece of masking tape and tape it. Leave that in place for 48 hours. I've already prepared the second of the three tests. You want to hang this just down the counter, away from the stove, sink, and dishwasher. For test number three, you want to hang it at least 20 feet away from the countertops. Now in this house, I'm going to use the china cabinet in the living room. Then you want this at breathing level and leave it in place for 48 hours. Let's fast forward to tomorrow, 24 hours after you started the counter test. Now what you want to do is you want to mark the ending time and date. We started yesterday, the 4th, at 3 p.m. and today's the 5th at 3 p.m. And you want to lift the dish. You might have some Vaseline left on the countertop. You can clean that off with some dishwashing soap and water. You pick up the charcoal packet 
and you want to slide it inside the mailing envelope. Once you've placed the charcoal packet in the mailer, you want to remove this waxy white adhesive liner so you can seal the kit. Now seal the envelope and make sure there are no holes or gaps. Put this in a safe place for another 24 hours until the air tests are finished. Remember, this is a 24 hour test and the three air tests are for 48 hours. Let's fast forward to August the 6th, which is 48 hours after you started these air tests. Now to end these, just take it down from your cabinet. Remove and discard the foam plug. And remove the white adhesive strip on the inside so you can seal it. You also want to tear off this plastic hook and throw it away. Now you need to mark the ending date and time. For us, it's August 6th and 3 p.m., 48 hours after we began the test. You also want to write down your name and address on all four. Be sure to include your email address or fax number so the lab can send you a result report within 24 hours of arrival. Now that you've sent your test package back to the lab, you'll receive your results in a few days, and then you'll know your radon levels and also whether or not your granite countertops contribute to those levels.